Hey everyone, after crossing levels of 20,000 last month, Nifty has corrected around 1000 points in the last couple of weeks. That's around 5% correction. And now we are back to levels where we were 4 months ago. Similarly, mid cap and small cap have witnessed correction with mid cap correcting 6.9% in last 6 weeks and small cap has corrected 5.7% in last 6 weeks. While this correction is absolutely normal and part of the equity market journey, there's a lot of fear among investors. Thanks to social media, our emotions get amplified. When the market goes up, there's a lot of greed and people regret not investing earlier. And when the market actually corrects, there's a lot of fear and many people don't gather the courage to invest further. Because when there's a correction, there's always a fear, how much will the market fall further? To answer this question, all you need to do is understand what factors impact the stock market. In fact, I recently did a detailed video on this where we covered the market situation and the way forward. If you haven't watched that video, do have a look. I'll provide the link in the description. So like I said before, this is a very normal correction and I don't want to sensationalize it. But since I've received multiple requests, I thought of quickly sharing my view on it. So broadly, two factors drive the stock market movement. Fundamentals and valuation. It's as simple as that. If fundamentals are weak, stock market will eventually fall. But the good news is that fundamentals of Indian economy are very strong. Our growth is looking good. There's good demand in the economy. Interest rates are also on the higher side, but inflation is fairly under control. And the same is reflected in the Q2 FR24 results so far. So if you look at Nifty 50 results so far, we've got around 18 results out of which 14 companies have posted positive profit growth and three with negative. Net-net, if you look at the revenue growth, it's 19.7% and operating profit growth is 22.3%. Especially the banks have outperformed this quarter as well. Yes, IT companies' growth has slowed down, but it's because their main business comes from US, which is struggling. We'll come to that shortly. Overall, if you look at Nifty 500 performance, we have got around 100 results so far, out of which 66 companies have posted positive profit growth and 27 with negative. Net-net, we have got 17.1% of revenue growth and 21% of operating profit growth. So clearly the early result indicator suggests another robust quarterly result. Hence, there's no need to worry on fundamentals. Now, as far as valuation is concerned, currently Nifty is trading at a PE of 21. Nifty mid-cap is trading at a PE of 25 and small cap is trading at a PE of 23.5. So on valuation parameter, also there is no concern. Valuations are looking decent, neither too high nor too low. In fact, you can also check yourself the PE, PV and dividend yield on NSC India website. Just visit the website, hover over market data and click on historical report. Then scroll down and click on PE, PV, dividend yield value. Now simply click on PE, PV, dividend yield, then equity and then index you want to select. So let's say you select Nifty 50 and then put a date range and click on submit. It will give you the valuation details. So overall the fundamentals are in place. Valuation doesn't look too stressed. Now what can be the reason for correction? So the key reason is concern due to high interest rate in the US, which is near decade high at 525 to 5.5%. Basically to control the high inflation in the US, the central bank has significantly increased the interest rate and that has slowed down the growth in US market. Moreover, the bond yield in the US are near all time high at around 5%. It means the bond market is very attractive and during this situation, Foreign investors like to have higher exposure in debt market and reduce exposure from equity market. This is the reason in last few months, FIs have been the net seller in Indian market as well. Any further selling from FI could be the key trigger for correction in the Indian market in the near term. Although there's a strong support from retail investors, especially in the form of SIP, that has given strength to the domestic institutional investors to support the market. Apart from FI selling, there are also concerns around the crude oil price global turmoil in terms of war and so on. But if the fundamentals are strong and valuations are reasonable, any such correction will only create buying opportunity. If you don't have the money, I would say that avoid making any hasty decision. Just stay calm, don't panic. And if you can't control your emotion, better stop looking at your portfolio. Always try to look at the bigger picture. If you have invested in good business, all you need is patience. In fact, if you have the money, you can even accumulate the stock you always wanted to buy. Personally, I think that this correction is a great opportunity to accumulate more in systematic manner. Which stocks to add? Well, I've discussed a lot of stocks in the last few months. Just have a look. At a broader level, the financial stocks are looking very promising. Apart from this, I'm keeping an Excel to track the quarterly results along with the valuation to identify the buying opportunity. It's available on my website in my weekly series. Okay, let me not stress this video. 
my only motive was to convey that there is no need to panic. This correction is absolutely normal and part of equity investment journey. Thank you for watching it. And if you know someone who is in panic after this correction, do share this video with them. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.